Hi, this is Mike with Blue Lion Public Library. Today's program is using Google to get a new job. We've recently received a grant from Public Library Association and Google called Libraries Lead with Digital Skills. And they would like us to showcase some of Google's lifelong learning programs. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to share my screen. And uh, it's 12.05 on July 28th. Share a screen with sound. OK. So first thing we're going to do is go to the website. And we're using Google's Applied Digital Skills curriculum for all of our programs here. And rather than give you a long link, Applied Digital Skills is what we're looking for. First result. And if you click on Lessons, we can find all kinds of wonderful lessons. Now, I was going to do this on the one called Use Google to get a new job, but I think there's a better one. So if I search for job, this one's OK. That was this one right here. That one's also you can tell by the four to eight hours, you just don't have that kind of time. So what I'm going to do instead is we're going to do the search for part-time job or summer job. Now, this applies to finding a job across the board. So I think it's really good. And even if you're looking for a full-time job and maybe you already have a wealth of experience, these skills and this method of looking for a job will still be helpful. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on this. Actually, I don't need the curriculum anymore. Let's go ahead and click Start. What will happen is we'll be taken to Google's video lesson on looking for a part-time job or a summer job, but it really applies to any job. So a lot of the lessons are kind of you watch a two or three minute video, and then you participate in the activity for two or three minutes. So that's what we're going to do. And make sure my microphone is actually on. Um, one moment. Um, um, OK, I think we are good here. Let's go back and get that out of the way. And so I'll watch the first one, which is three minutes, and then we'll, uh, we'll do it together. No matter where you live or how far along you are in school, there are jobs available to you. You might want an after school or summer job while you're still in high school. Or you may have recently graduated and want to start the next stage of your life with your first full-time job. Many people want to get a job to help support themselves and their families. Making money is an important short-term goal. But thinking about your interests and talents before you start your job hunt will help you find a job that is a good fit for your personality and your long-term goals too. Starting a job that interests you now may be a pathway to a future career. Jobs that match your personality can help you feel more fulfilled at work. They can even be fun. Looking for a job can feel overwhelming, no matter how much experience you have, especially if you're not sure what you'd like to do or where you want to work. One way to find a new job is to search online. In this lesson, you will brainstorm a list of your skills, talents, and interests. Then you will think about classes and hobbies you enjoy. Finally, you will search online for jobs in your area that you might like the best. As you complete this lesson, you will format text in a document, add bullet points and headers, insert a table, search online using keywords, and add links to your document. This lesson uses Google Docs, but you could apply these skills and concepts in any word processing application or even on a piece of paper. To work on this lesson, sign into your Google account. Open a new tab in your browser and navigate to google.com. If you are not signed in, do so now.
If you do not have a Google account, pause this video and create one. To begin, open Google Drive. Then, create a new blank document. Name the file and give the document a title. Then, move on to the next video to start brainstorming your interests. Now it's your turn. Sign into your Google account, create a new blank document, name the file, and give it a title. Okay, great. So, to get started, uh, we're going to sign into our Google account and make a new document and go ahead and get started with everything that we're going to do today. Uh, part of the methodology of uh, these Google lessons are is they're kind of also trying to teach you some skills um, typically related to Google Docs. So in this case, we'll be utilizing Google, Google Docs to, uh, as the woman said, we're going to be creating lists and tables and things. So you're kind of also learning new skills at the same time. So first thing first, sign in your Google account. OK, great. Let me do that in a, just a new tab, I guess. And the way we do that is just go to google.com. And looks like I'm actually signed in already. Uh, if I was not signed in, then I would see a gigantic blue sign in button. So sign in. I happen to be signed in already. Once you're signed in, click the menu and go to DAX. Google DAX. Oh, I'm sorry, I think I want to go to Drive first. Drive, Google Drive. Get rid of that. And then do a new Google Doc. Blank document. So great. And now we're working on a Google Doc in the cloud in our email account. And I think the last thing to do was give it a name. All right, name the file, give it a title. Okay, so let's call this, um, this uh, job search and then the name. And let's say my name is uh, John. I think that's what we did for our last week resume class with our fictional resume was John's resume. So great. And we're done with that part. And we'll move on. Let's see what happens next. Brainstorm your interest in a document. All right. So let's watch this together, and then we'll get started on the next part. In this lesson, you will brainstorm lists of your interests and skills to help you think about what types of jobs you could look for. Brainstorming is a useful way to start any new project. It helps you generate ideas, think through problems, and create solutions. Plus, when you record your ideas in a digital document, you can access them from any device connected to the internet. You can add more ideas as you think of them later. To start, add a heading to your document to create an interest section. Then, think of the types of things you like to do outside of school. These may be hobbies, sports, or activities you do at home, like reading, playing an instrument, singing in a choir, or to the radio, playing sports, running or swimming, participating in an after-school club, painting, drawing, or sculpting, playing board games, or cooking. Add a bullet point and begin your list. Press Enter to add a new interest on each line. After you've added at least five interests to your list, think about your strengths at school and in your community. What classes do you do well in? Maybe you're really great at math, but aren't as interested in science. 
Maybe you love to read novels and prefer to be alone rather than hang out in big groups. To brainstorm your list of strengths and preferences, ask yourself whether you prefer to be alone or with other people, like taking care of others, like children or animals, like helping people, prefer to be inside or outside. Add a new heading to your document for strengths. Then, add at least three strengths to your list that answer one or more of these questions. Don't worry if you have trouble coming up with strengths for your list. Spend a few minutes brainstorming. You can always come back to that list later. If one of your strengths is your talkative personality, you might want to work in a store helping customers. If you love TV and movies, consider working in a movie theater. If you like to be outside, you might want to look for a job as a dog walker or referee. The strengths on your list can help you decide what kinds of jobs to look for. Now it's your turn. Add a heading to your document for your interests. List at least five interests as bullet points. Add another heading for your strengths and list at least three strengths as your bullet points. Okay, great. So now if you're someone who has work experience already, this, um, you're probably not going to be put, you know, your school interests and things like that. But that's great. You're the head of the game. And instead of, uh, so this might be kind of dry for you, but basically the point is to kind of, uh, this is still be helpful. Still going to be putting, you know, your, your actual work experience and things like that. And if you had, you know, seen last week's uh, resume class, then you probably have a lot of that done already. Um, but let's say maybe you don't have a lot of that already. So this is where this next exercise will be helpful. So back to our Google Doc. Uh, the first thing they wanted to do was create a title called, uh, I'm not sure what it was, probably job search. So I'll just type job search and highlight it and Make this a big title. Perfect. And then there was a, another subheading that made a note. Interest was the first one. So interest, do the same thing. And I believe they used uh, header one. I like that. Heading one. OK. Let's turn your interest. These five inches as bullet points. Perfect. Moving on from that, we need the bullet icon. What's well, the list right here? And now we've got the list started. Fantastic. So at this point, we'll type some of our interests, which I don't know. I kind of pre uh, decided on some interests just a little bit ago. And uh, so these are just your interests. Let's say maybe you're into singing, photography, maybe you're in the Spanish club at school, maybe you like TV and movies. And this could be just whatever. These are just some ideas. You know, you put whatever your interests are. Maybe you're into video games, maybe even cooking and baking. And finally, let's say painting. And we could be dating more. We'll add more uh, probably later on. Just a short list to get started. OK, make some more space. And the next thing they wanted was another heading for your strengths. OK, so again, we'll just type strengths. And we'll notice it's small again, but we'll make that into a heading. Highlight that. Go back up here. It's not normal text. It's a heading. Heading one sounds good. Now we have strengths. Go to the next line and find the bullet button, which was up here. Not a numbered list, bullet list. There we go. Now we have some strengths. And let's say uh, our strengths are Spanish. Um, let's say math. Coding. Talking to people. And sports. Maybe we'll even say specific sport. Let's say lacrosse. I don't know if that's spelled right. Let's go something easier. Uh, baseball. 
And how many, let's see, uh, for strengths, doesn't ask for how many, so great. Any strengths is bullet points, we got that. And I believe that is it. So uh, this is just gonna help us have some kind of list to refer to, um, you know, to kind of organize what kind of job we actually want to begin looking for. Um, so it'll be more interesting in just a few minutes. Let's go to the next lesson and see what happens. If you are looking for work for the first time, you may think you don't have any relevant experience for a job. But classes you have taken in school, special courses, clubs, chores, and volunteer work all provide useful experiences that can help you get a job. For example, learning CPR in a health class might prepare you to work as a lifeguard or nanny or an EMT. Interest in the food industry might prepare you to be a restaurant host, a waiter, caterer, or chef's assistant. Volunteering at a children's museum might prepare you to work as a camp counselor, a daycare teacher, or a museum assistant. In this video, you will brainstorm a list of your experiences that might help you look for a job and add them to your document. Then, you will list the skills you've gained from each experience. To begin, add a new heading for experience. Start your list. Consider any previous work you have done, paid or unpaid. Jobs outside your home, like mowing lawns, delivering food, or selling concession at a sports game, might have taught you how to manage money, for example. Jobs inside your house, like babysitting or washing dishes, may have taught you how to stay on schedule. Volunteer work, such as singing in a retirement home or picking up trash in your community, may have improved your people skills. Also consider online training courses on topics like photography or coding, after school clubs like the school paper or a foreign language group, formal career training such as classes in cosmetology or auto repair, and classes in school that required long-term projects or assignments. Add at least three relevant experiences to your list Next to each experience, write at least one skill that you gained from the job or the task. Think about how your classes at school and experiences at work have prepared you for your future jobs. They may have taught you specific subject matter, such as English grammar, or they may have taught you specific skills, such as how to use a spreadsheet, a microscope, or how to do research at a library. Now it's your turn. Add a new heading for experiences to your document. Spend about five minutes brainstorming previous jobs, chores, volunteer work, and formal training you've done. Add at least three experiences to your list and name the skills you gained from each experience. All right, fantastic. So let's go ahead and Get started on that. We'll go back to our document here and make a new category called experience. Experiences. Experience. Not an old text. That's a header. Heading one sounds good. And we have another bulleted list. And kind of just uh, kind of pre jotted down some things just a few minutes ago, and some of them I've been taken from the uh, resume thing that we did last week. So let's say uh, my experience is uh, whatever I did. Perhaps I volunteered at uh, animal shelter. Um, maybe I volunteered at homeless shelter as well. Research the research project at school. Maybe you did a big project um, for your senior senior project or something like that. Um, and I would kind of make that whatever it actually was, research project at school. Um, 
something. We'll fill that in later. Maybe you worked on a school newspaper. Perhaps you wrote for your church is blog or website. And maybe you maybe you don't have a lot of work experience. Maybe you just put that uh, you mow bonds for your neighbors. Or something. These are just random examples that I just came up with a few minutes ago. And, you obviously would be whatever whatever experience you have. Uh, you know, if you're later in the game, then great. You probably have actual work experience, but you probably have a resume put together already. But maybe if you don't have all that, this would be good. Just examples of like, oh, I forgot I did this, and this would get you at least something to uh, get started with. All right. So experiences, so skills gained from each experience. Um, Okay, let's um, say this is working with animals. This uh, skill would be maybe working with people. This might be research and they mentioned using the library. Using the library. School newspaper it could be learned uh, basic journalism. Maybe even um, interviewing people. Oh, for my church's website and blog. Uh, perhaps that's well uh, writing and maybe researching to blogs for the neighbors. Um, Where you learned um, hard work and time management. How about that? Maybe even finance. I don't know. Depends on how much you did. All right. Training for experience in your document. All right. I think we are good. And I think the next thing we are going to do is going to be looking for jobs. Search for jobs online. All right. Now we get to the uh, meat of the program here. In the previous videos, you brainstormed your interests, strengths, and experiences to help you look for jobs online. In this video, you will use those lists as keywords in your job search. To start, add a heading for your job search below your brainstorming list. Insert a table with four columns and five rows. You will add the jobs you find online to the table to keep track of them. In the first row, add column headers for job title, description, related interests and experience, and notes. Then, Open a new tab in your browser and go to google.com. In the search bar, type one of your interests from your list, plus the word job. If you're looking for work during a specific time frame, such as during the summer or holidays, include that in your search terms. Or if you've completed high school and won a full-time job, you might search using terms like entry level or high school graduate. Use the filters to narrow your results. If you're only available after school or on weekends, specify part-time job. If you need a job within walking or biking distance, change the location to something close by. High school students often work as cashiers, fast food workers, and babysitters, but there are many jobs you might be qualified for.
Consider the skills, strengths, and preferences you included in your list. While you may feel qualified to shelf books in a library, if you prefer to be outside, you might not be happy in that job. Once you've found a job you're interested in, add the job title to your table. Copy and paste the job description or write something yourself. Then, add why you think it's a good fit for you. Write your interests, experience, or strength that relates to the job. Next, add notes you might want to remember, like the location or pay rate. Finally, copy the URL of the job posting. Link the job title to the posting's website so you can apply to the job later. Find and add at least four jobs to your table. If you find more jobs that you'd like to add, add more rows to your table. Now it's your turn. Insert a table with four columns and five rows into your document. Add headers for the job title, description, related interests, and notes. Search online for jobs that feature your interests and experiences. Add the jobs to your table and record the details. And link to the job description. Fantastic, okay. So there's a lot there. Um, I believe that is, I think the last one is just a recap after that. So let's go back to our job search uh, document here. And the next thing we're going to do is insert a table. So I'm just gonna make some space. And they want a table, so insert table. And I think they wanted five by four. And we can change it later. Actually, four by five, four columns. They wanted five rows. All right. All right, four by five. Okay. So that makes a, a nice table for us. Uh, and this is good because all the document editors all work the same with tables and text and things like that. So you're learning how to make uh, tables and things and other skills. So we had our titles, which I had to write down because they were going kind of fast. So we had job title, description, related interest, and notes. And then I believe they went straight to Google and looked for jobs, which is what we're going to do right now. So. Let's do, maybe we'll do another window for this. All right. So the first thing we can do is go to Google. And let's say I'm searching for, um, let's see, my interests are 
these things. So let's say I'm looking for, okay, Spanish would be a good one. Spanish, you could probably do some kind of uh, tutoring or translation or something. Let's see, Spanish, probably should put um, a Spanish teacher. So when you put the keyword job after any kind of Google search, it'll come back with jobs. And you'll also have a you know, little link here, which is this thing down here, which will take you to basically like the main Google searching, job searching interface. So now we're in the, the, the Google jobs section. Now we can look around and, okay, teacher, so a lot of these, I didn't do a good keyword. This is basically just um, jobs that are either required to speak Spanish or something else. So let's say I wanted to, uh, maybe we'll do Spanish um, tutor, Spanish language. Yeah, that could be still, all right, let's do a different example. Let's say, let's say I'm looking for, an, um, okay, one of my interests uh, I believe was TV, movies, video games. So maybe uh, working at a movie theater or something. Movie theater jobs, and we're already in the job section, so let's see if we can spell it correctly. Okay. So here we go. So now we have some perfect, right? Um, here are some jobs that are available at local cinemas and things, concessionist jobs, usher jobs, cashier jobs. Perfect. Let's also set our location. Okay. Blue Island, Illinois. Okay, I guess we're already Blue Island. All right, so there aren't a lot of movie jobs right now. Makes sense because we're in the middle of COVID and I don't think any of them are open right now. Well, let's say one of these was interesting to me and maybe it was more local. I'll pick this one right here. You'll get a great description. Um, now, what our Google curriculum wants us to do is paste a bunch of these jobs into our Google Doc that we just made. But I do want to take a moment to just kind of say that this interface is very helpful because not only do you find the jobs you're looking for, it tells you how to apply for them. Usually it's through you know another party. So if I want to apply for this job, I can apply through Find Me a Good Job, Glassdoor, Stank a Job, LinkedIn, what have you. Also, there's search capabilities, so I can say, okay, only within so many miles of where I'm located or only at a certain time, et cetera, et cetera. You can even sort by day, po day posted if you just want jobs that have been posted relatively recently. You can almost do an entire program class just on using this interface, which I think is what we plan to do after the four weeks. So let's go back and finish out our lesson that we started, which was asking us to Okay, uh, basically we're filling out the table. So let's pretend that was one of the jobs that really interest me. Go down here, maybe I'll even kind of move this over to the side. It's a little smaller. Okay, so we had a box office cashier. Description was whatever the description was. Um, there we go. And I know there's more to it, but let's just go ahead and paste that part. All right. You can make that shorter just for the sake of brevity. A related interest, of course, we said that we were interested in uh, TV and movies. TV and movies. And notes, here's where you put, you know, some kind of notes that something that would jump out of you at the job, uh, flexible work schedule, really close by, pays a lot of money, whatever, or uh, any one of these in there. Um, pet insurance, great, maybe that's a big deal for me. 
put pet insurance down. Fantastic. All right, and finally, they suggested to make the title a link. Now, the way to do that is to highlight the part that we want to make a link. And then there is a link button somewhere. Which here it is. Looks like a um, it's a link button. So insert link. And now it's asking me where the link goes to. So now what we need to do is go back to our search here. And where I click that on box office cashier, one thing I can do is I can just right click on this and say, yep, I guess I can't. Okay. Can I do that? Hmm. Well, I think you would be able to. So if I do this, I can get the link here. Let me just make sure that's actually going all the way to the specific listing. Box office cashier. Okay, so I guess it is. All right, so basically all we have to do is when we're on the one we want, we just have to get right out of the address bar the full link. To do that, just click on it. It highlights the whole thing for you automatically. I click, say copy. Go back to our document here, paste the link, and hit the apply button. I have a nice blue link that takes us right back to the link. So we've just effectively just saved the direct link for later. Um, probably just do one more of these. The chance of table record details. Okay, so we'll do one more. All right, let's say one of my other interests. Uh, they also suggested to search for suggested summer jobs. Okay. There we go. There's some. Sounds good. They also mentioned entry level jobs. Okay, perfect. So we got all these. This is great. All kinds of. Um, all right. So let's say let's just take uh, cup spans wanted. All right, uh, let's say staffing company, administrative data. I don't know. Let's say uh, we want something close. So location, let's say within, um, I don't know, 15 miles to what we get this time. Miles of Blue Island, Illinois. Perfect. All right, so here we go. Uh, Mutual of Omaha, Platinum, Lyft, labor job. Let's just say I want, uh, I don't know, say I want this last one. Um, entry level truck drivers. Great. Click on that. Let's get our link, which is just this thing up here. And let's go back to our job title. This entry level truck driver. I already got my link on my clipboard. Now we're spreading over two pages, but that's okay. I do what I did before. I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, click the link button, and paste my link, which is already on the clipboard. Paste, apply. Now we've got a direct link back to that. And for our description, We'll just grab that right out of the could be whatever it is. Um, driver with a clean record that can handle all that. I guess you need CDL or something. But maybe they help you with that. You never know. All right. Uh, paste. Okay. I guess. We're going to be using Control-V for that. Control-V. All right, so we've got that in there. And related interest, should have went back to my page. But um, uh, being outside and working on the road. Maybe that's something you're interested in. Who knows? And for our notes, we'll put uh, whatever they have, something that interests us, unlimited cash referral program. 
Sounds great. That's right, control V, right? Okay. So now what we're doing is kind of aggregating all these things and we're making a kind of personalized list of jobs that we would be interested in. And this would be helpful um, to kind of keep track of what's out there and what you might be applying for. And I'm not going to do too many more. In fact, we'll probably call that up for the, that, that's, that's our list so far. Let's just go with that. And let's see what happens next. I think we're maybe going back to the jobs Google page. Wrap up. Okay, let's see what happens here. In this lesson, you looked for a job that fits your abilities, schedule, and personality. To do this, you brainstormed a list of your strengths, interests, and experiences in a document, added headings and bulleted lists to help organize your document, and used your list to perform a job search online. Then, you recorded the jobs you found in a table in your document, along with the job description and other details you will need later. When you find the job that matches your interests and abilities, it is more likely that you will enjoy the work that you do. And enjoying the work you do might help you stay in the job path longer and make more money. There are lots of jobs available, and the internet is a useful place to start. But there may be jobs in your area that aren't posted online. Check your local newspaper, the bulletin boards at libraries, community centers, and public colleges. Plus, talk to people you know about your job search. Your friend, relative, teacher, or a community member may know of an open job that you would enjoy. Or start a conversation with an employee at a place you visit like a local bookstore, the city pool, or a restaurant. Ask them about their job. It will help you figure out what your interests are. You can always apply in person if it's a good fit for you. Finally, you can create your own job. Think about your strengths and what you can provide others, whether it's a service like landscaping or a product like homemade jewelry. Use the internet to research the need for your product or service in your area. Then create a flyer or website to advertise your business. If you're under the age of 18, your area may have specific laws outlining what types of jobs you're allowed to hold and what hours you can work. Check the website for the Department of Labor before you commit to a position. And if you're in school or have other commitments, keep in mind your schedule and availability. As you look for a job, keep adding to your document. You may think of interests and experiences you didn't include before. As you apply for jobs, add another column to your table to mark the date you applied for the position. You might also use Google Docs to create your resume and write cover letters for each job you're applying for. Finding the right job can take a long time, but the more clearly you define your interests and strengths, the easier it is to find the perfect position. Keep using your job search guide and good luck in your hunt. All right, great. Okay, there actually was a lot there. And actually, let me just see if that is the last. Okay, great. So the next thing is a survey, and then the last thing is more lessons. So that's the end of the lesson. Now, there are a couple things there that are really good ideas. Uh, one is, well, let's see, the first thing, let me work backwards, actually. The next thing that I want on this document here, which is good on its own right, and also is teaching you different skills. Uh, just the act of doing this is also teaching you like kind of basic word uh, document editing skills. You're able to create tables and things like that now. This is all great. One of the things I suggested was to have another column for the date that you applied. And the way you can usually do that is just to click somewhere on the column and you can say insert column to the right. That will probably do what we want. Perfect. And they suggested to have one that says date applied for something like that. Uh, date applied. How about that? So this would be you can use the your own table that you created to kind of keep track of what you've applied for. Uh, and when you applied for it and everything. So let's say I applied for that today. 
A728. Perfect. This will help you keep track of all that. That's great. Another thing they suggested was at this point in time, you could possibly be expanding on your experience list and to a lesser degree, your strengths and interests, but mostly your experience list. Perfect. Uh, be adding to that all the time. Maybe you know, you're kind of think, oh, I forgot that I did this or that. That could be helpful uh, to one specific job that might actually require a specific skill very closely related to that. Perfect. All this will help you. It all mesh together. And then the last thing they kind of suggested was this, mostly that this, like the Google job search is one aspect of looking for a job. So this is great. The internet is itself is just one, you know, resource. I mean, it's many resources, many resources, you know, available at the same time, but this is just one thing. You know, you they suggested also, you know, checking with the local businesses in your area that are already like people are already working for. They suggested the local newspaper. They suggested uh, something else I wrote down. Um, social media. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I said internet earlier, but good. The Google Jobs. Uh, jobs on Google is just this this interface that we're looking at here is just one resource for that. So you're looking at social media, you're looking at the local newspapers, you're looking at uh, networking with your friends, saying like, hey, do you know any jobs that are available here or here? Is anybody hiring? There's going to be local job fairs. There's going to be uh, in the library here. We're going to we have uh, like a jobs board upstairs. There's tons of different things. So this is just one resource for jobs, and it's a good one. Uh, but yeah, we could almost spend an entire lesson just on how to use this. This is great. Um, you know, this is also kind of aggregating other sites together. I think that's kind of how this, this where this information comes from. In other words, Google has presented it to you in this manner, but you know, this job is here because it was listed on LinkedIn and Jobs Vault and all these other ones. And a lot of these are just directly to um, yeah, so it just takes us directly to the same posting on a different website. So rather than the Google website, this is on a link website. LinkedIn's fine. If that's how they want to do it, then you know that would that's almost like a whole other thing on its own is going into LinkedIn and making a profile and applying for jobs that way. But this could be used for, you know, maybe you're not interested in a whole lot of these third-party sites. This this the Google job search could just be, you know, how you find the job exists. You could then take this to find out like this, you know, this platinum supplemental insurance. You could go find them on the internet and find their phone number and call them and ask, you know, what their job availability is and whether or not you could walk in and hand them a resume or what have you. This could just be, you know, nobody's saying you have to use this to apply for the jobs. This is just finding you the jobs. And it's on you, however you want to go about proceeding with that information. So that and that, and it's good because it's 12.55, so our hour is just about up. This would be a great time for questions and answers, except I'm actually the only one here, but that's all right. Someone will be delighted to watch this on the internet later. So I'm going to say we're going to call it and stop my screen, screen share. And this will be on the internet later for someone. And that's it. Thank you for watching.